Hello again, it's me Wild ICB, and I'd like to welcome you to my first tutorial in my Unreal Script tutorial series. So, what we'll be using is Microsoft Visual Studio 2008 to edit our our script files, as well as Infringe um, for our syntax highlighting and easy debugging. Now, I'm expecting you to already have these two installed. It's simple; just go to the Microsoft website and grab a copy of the Visual Studio C++ Express Edition, as well as go to the Nfringe site and download and install the plugin. So first what I want to do is actually create a testbed level. Now if you remember this from my previous tutorial, it's rather easy. So let's just get this done. Um, as always, I'm starting with fresh UDK install and this will be my last one hopefully. So let's get started. Let's open up the editor. Okay. Now that that's loaded, let's close out the tip of the day and the content browser. Now, I'm just going to do this really quick. So right click the cube, let's set the X 1024, Y 1024, and the Z axis 32. Click build, close, CSG add. Now let's create our walls. Alright, so after we set it, after we get that wall started, rotate this by 90 degrees. Okay, we're just going to position these walls. Press this S C S G add. Go to the other side. Do the same. Now, of course, the test bed level can be anything you want. I'm just using this as a default. So for those following exactly, we'll have the same test bed. Finally, we just add the actor and the light. So add player star. Let's just place that somewhere and add actor, add light. So here's our little light for the scene. Position that to where we like. Click build all. Okay, now I want you to Save this as testbed.udk. Now let's just test our level, so play from here. Alright. So we have our simple testbed level up. Okay, and that's all for the editor. To set up our coding environment, let's open up Visual Studio. So let's let this start. Okay. So now, what you're going to do is create project. And create an Unreal Engine 3 licensees project. So let's name ours My Game. <coughs> Press OK. And this will start creating our my game director okay now we need to go to our now we need to configure the project so let's right click my game go to properties so first thing we need to do is change target game to an unreal 3 engine mod 
If we don't, we won't get access to our reference source path. So we're going to set our UCC path to our udk.exe. Then we're going to set the reference source path to our development udk our development source folder. It's okay. Save that. Next, what we're going to do is go to go to build, scroll down, and manually set our UCC output directory. So we want that to be placed in UT game scripts. It's okay and save that. Finally, what you're going to want to do is start game executable. Make this the udk.exe. Enable unpublished mods. Then you're going to want to put load map at startup. And we're going to type in testbed. Start with specified game. So we're going to name it my game dot my game info. Save this. Next, what we're going to do is create add folder, add a new folder. So add new folder, name it classes. After you've done this, right click the classes folder, add new item. What you're going to want to do is add an Unreal script file and name this my game info. 